Hey Cancers, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am your girl, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so, so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, a very special welcome to you. I hope that um, you'll hit the subscribe button and join me here more often. I would absolutely love to have you um, a part of this all Cancerian family. I'm a Cancer and I cater to the Cancers here on the Cancerian Vibe. So, Make sure your notification bells are turned on so you're notified each and every time that I upload because it will be for cancers, okay? No matter where you have cancer in your chart too, okay? So, cancers, my cancers. I'm spoiling y'all, okay? Um, <laughs> but I'm here taking care of cancer and mercury retrograde um mercury retrograde you know we all know it <laughs> we all know it we've all felt it um depending on when you watch this reading you know you could be feeling the uh energy the pre-shadow energy so the dates for the mercury retrograde i hope i get this right september 27th um until october 17th so just expect you know um delays hiccups in communications um you know definitely just prepare yourself we just say that it's nothing to be afraid of cancer um just a time of really really where you're like um, want to make sure that you're present and clued in at like every as or you know every aspect, every major aspect that's going on. But we're gonna um get into it. We're gonna see. I'm gonna pull some cards on it. Let's see what uh messages come out for you. I am offering this reading um as a promotion for um a couple of days. So um. If you would like this reading um, in a personal format, check the link in the description box below the first link. Um, if the link works, um, the promotion is still valid. If the link doesn't work, depending on when you watch the reading, um, the sale is not valid. So yeah, you can find um, more information about that when you click the link on the um in the description box but let's get into it i'm first gonna pull from this deck you guys the um see what comes up for cancer to surrender what is cancer going to be surrendering during mercury retrograde spirit what is cancer focusing on surrendering during this current mercury retrograde season that will be occurring September 27 mm, to October 17th. <laughs> Cancer. Surrender obsessive thinking. Obsessive thinking. And um, yeah, look. So Cancer, <laughs> let me read it for you first. It says, if you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to um, spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem, okay? At the bottom of the deck, surrender to trust. Surrender to trust. And I feel like, Cancer, the trust here is you need to trust yourself and you need to trust spirit. Um, See, some, someone is going to um, kind of like, for lack of better words, mess themselves up because it's like you're um, like really, really overanalyzing the situation. That's what it feels like. It feels like you're overanalyzing something, overanalyzing. And you know, you could definitely, so let me tell you, <laughs> you could definitely feel like that coming into Mercury retrograde season because um because you're gonna wanna pay an extra step of, you know, you know, you're gonna wanna pay an extra eye of attention, but you're not going to want to let it get to the fact of where it's um, you know, interrupting your peace cancer. That's what, you know, that's what I'm not trying to give you that 
um you know with the, the the disclaimer for what i said before i'm not trying to give you that fear to where you know you just have to be super critical of everything that's happening it's just you want to give it an extra eye um you know you still want to trust that you are divinely protected and divinely guided and you cancer are super super intuitive if you allow your fears and your doubts because that's what's feeding the obsession to overanalyze or you know um go back and forth between um options like you can't make a decision if you look just turn it over and let it go doing so will help bring clarity or even solve whatever problem you feel like you face so trust trust yourself and your decisions so trust what feels right, Cancer, and don't like second guess this decision, whatever decisions you may have to make coming forward. Um, you know, I have a heavy, heavy feeling that it has to do with relationships, Cancer. Um, but you know, whatever decision, trust your decisions, trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Ooh, y'all. I this just personally got me right here. Ooh. Okay, my bad. Um, the card says take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So, Cancer, I definitely can relate. I don't know if I don't know if you all can. Um, but you know the funny thing. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, Cancer, you might have even so something might have happened. There might have been like a conflict with like a another person it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic it could be a friendship definitely because friendship the energy came up so and i feel like um there's like tricky energy between you and a person and you maybe because remember y'all i kept feeling like there was somebody you know that cancer you might be around that you got to question their motives you know i'm just saying it might be you know it might be snake season because remember them, the seven of swords, the five of wands, the conflict was coming out. And that's what prompted me to do the reading, y'all. Remember, because the girl got in the comments and was like, you know, we should have it. Remember, y'all? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> you might have, you might have even been praying. Like um, the message said, you know, asking your angels about it, asking your angels about this decision, this situation, trying to, um, trying to come to terms you know and you may even to cancer be having to leave some some people behind because of this new you you know it's a new you now so everybody that you used to hang with and be cool with or be around and be in relation with cancer isn't going to resonate with you going forward and that's okay that's okay don't be um but don't be swayed by other people's opinions about what to do you do what you um, feel in your heart because spirit um because you cancer have the intuitive capability to know okay and trust yourself that you do oh y'all a reading right there i re like look when i say i felt told <laughs> but i'm gonna pull one more let's see <laughs> what other message look okay serena <laughs> the idea that you can fix someone cancer because you can't accept people for what they are and what they give you cancer. It may be some people's seasons up in your life. Like it may be time for them to go. Um, but look, it's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Look, hmm. Look at that. Surrender to silence at the bottom of the deck. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within you. Silence can heal and replenish you. And I feel like there's power in your silence, Cancer, because when you try to silence these obsessive thoughts, when you silence the noise of other people, when you can just be you, you know, and have your connection with you and spirit, just in quiet. Um, and you know, <laughs> and I know that it's not, um, a simple task because as soon as you try to quiet your mind, y'all, that's when you just think about all the, just the random stuff. Um, but you know, there's, we're going to work on that. Okay. But <laughs> you definitely want to try to cancer, just focus on your, your, your heart. 
silence out the other noise okay um and while you're contemplating this because yeah it feels like a definitely it definitely feels like a decision um cancer that you're having to come up with all right y'all so we're gonna um pull some tarot cards here look at that the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck there's those thoughts your um fears those obsessive thoughts feeling um making you feel trapped it's time to let that go. Um, it's time to it's, it's time to it's time for some shifts, Cancer. Did not that did that not come out in the daily message for today? But let's see. So we're gonna pull, and this is exactly how the um personal reading um will go, Cancer. So we're gonna uh pull one card to see what this retrograde has in store for cancer okay see what this retrograde has in store for cancer let's get a good shuffle thank you spirit for clear and accurate messages for my cancers what is in store for this mercury retrograde for cancers what does this mercury retrograde have in store for cancer spirit Look at that. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course, Cancer. So the Six of Cups came out. <laughs> so of course, there's gonna be some um some 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 returns. Um, some some romances, the return of people or romances from your past. Look, um, for some of you, for some of you and y'all, it does feel like spin the block season. I'm not even gonna lie. Some of you, um, the past, it's like, look, leave that in the past because it you it is broke. You can't fix it. Don't try to fix it. Don't try to about don't waste time trying to think about how you can fix it, cancer. Like it's time to let that go. For some of you, it is time to look at it a different way. Um, you know, it, and it may can move forward in a different way. I feel like this as far as with ideas too, because, you know, re revisiting old dreams or old plans, like I said, you know, that came up in the Libra reading, y'all. Um, definitely ideas coming back that you may be able to refine. Um, you know, so this retrograde may be a really good thing for you in the sense of it's going to um put on showcase or put on put on stage what needs to be worked out what needs to be fixed you know for some of you there could be some childhood stuff that you're needing to deal with too and i said that at 13 i caught 13 13 so um but yeah look and a lot <laughs> on point with the energy of mercury retrograde so expect a blast on the past okay um, with the Six of Cups coming out. But for some of you, I feel like, no, not even for some of you, for everybody, I feel like it's good news. Whether the, whether the past comes back for you to confront it and learn a final lesson from it and move forward, or whether the past comes back for you to adjust it and shift it in a different way and move forward, it's a win-win. Like, either way, it's time to... Um, Something's going to come up in this relationship that you're going to have to put notice on. Like, you're going to have to put your put your magnifying glass on, okay? Um, but let's see. So, I'm going to pull a card for the interruption that this retrograde may cause. Thank you, Spirit. What, what interruption will a retrograde cause for cancers? Where should cancers look for interruption during this retrograde? Oh, so, all right, cancer, <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me, interruptions in regards to new opportunities. So, all right, Cancer. And honestly, because of, look, the Ten of Swords is here at the bottom of the deck. So, there are some endings that are definitely going to take place during this retrograde. Um, <clears throat> but this, um, it feels like, you know, there could be some interruptions in regards to new opportunities. Um, 
in regards to but I, what I honestly feel like this is cancer and not necessarily that this is going to stop your inflow of abundance or even stop an opportunity because some of you may like get an opportunity during Mer Mercury retrograde season and feel like you can't take it because it's Mercury retrograde and that's I don't do you <laughs> okay I'm not giving you any advice on that I'm going to say do you but I will say if you're doing any you know starting anything new um signing any contracts especially in regards to like a house or a vehicle definitely like double check it you know put eyes on it okay I'm just saying put eyes on it um <clears throat> because look it does feel like new things are coming in cancer because there's endings like you got the 10 at the bottom of the deck the underlying energy moving into the um the new the ace so there are some the ends of situations that bring relief sadness or both so um you know you got to kind of take the good with the bad i feel like mercury retrograde could be a little emotional y'all i don't know i already cried today so <laughs> I ain't ashamed to say that. <laughs> um, so you got to take the good with the bad cancer. Just roll with it. Roll with the emotions. You know, we kind of moody anyway. So um, it just may be a little intensified. I do know that cancer is one of the signs that's supposed to be more affected by Mercury retrograde. I do plan to do this um, this reading on my main tarot channel for the collective. So if you'd like to check it out for the other signs, um, definitely join me over there on my main tarot channel, Boss Lady B Tarot. If I can remember, I'll drop it in the eye somewhere like that. But yeah, um, but look, the opportunity for new happiness, a weight off your shoulders. So this problem, like give it over to spirit. Like it don't have to be on your shoulders anymore. Turn your back on it. Like it's time to move on um the end of an addiction so this this is that obsessive thinking um can't say it's an end to that addiction it's time so this you know i know mercury <clears throat> mercury retrograde gets a bad rep but it does seem to be proven kind of beneficial for you right now i'm just saying um but let's see so i'm pulling one more another card for an important shift that will happen during this time for you tell me about an important shift that will happen for cancer so y'all and i'm gonna take both of it too because the wheel and the king of cups came out so your energy cancer i feel like this is saying in regards to you but the wheel is here the like the literal shift so a literal shift is happening can you feel a shift cancer I'm just saying, um, a very important shift. Uh, so where look where there may be delays in regards to this opportunity or new opportunities, Cancer. There's gonna be a shift where things are gonna start um lighting up, lighting up and moving fast here. Um, sudden and unexpected progress, very positive change. I feel like it's happening. Um, also, though, there are some offers coming in, and I do feel like they may be romantic. Um, and that's why I'm kind of glad that I'm doing this reading. Um, so really, really shout out to me. And I probably lost the comment in the rest of the comments, so I probably can't even get back to her. But thank you for asking me for the Mercury Retrograde reading. So, yeah, y'all thank her, whoever she is. Hopefully, she comments on the video again. But, um yeah cancer it feels like you know i'm glad that i did this because it feels like there are going to be some um offers that come in and so some of you may feel like you can't accept these offers because it's mercury retrograde and that's simply not the case it does feel like this energy is very positive for you cancer like and it's going to affect you more because it's literally like shifting the trajectory of your life like there are major shifts happening um but there it feels like you know they're on um they they're good they're they're good cancer um and they're happening for you with the king of with the king of cups i feel like you may be kind of disappointed with where things are going right now um but that that's that's changing um 
definitely it does feel like some um if you do start a new romantic relationship um cancer it definitely can be um see yeah y'all oh my gosh so look the card says um someone you can completely trust a situation that is safe a solid romantic relationship okay Look, so somebody needed to hear that. That's a, that's a word for somebody because I feel like there will be solid situations that you can be okay with, Cancer, um, moving forward in regards to um, connections. And it doesn't even have to just be romantic, but a situation is safe. Someone is safe. But I feel like there are some people that you had to, you know, get about your circle. Get them squares out your circle, okay? Um yeah, and some of you, too, may decide to, like, um, I don't know if you're, like, another disclaimer, I'm not a medical advisor or anything, but some of you may, like, decide to, like, start seeing a counselor um, or you may even, like, get readings or something. It feels like you may start uh, talking about, you know, your feelings more and trying to get a better handle on your feelings. So you may find that, you know, communicating with someone during this time might be um beneficial for you too cancer but it feels like the wheel is bringing in someone the shift that's happening um is someone coming in that you can trust definitely someone they're coming in to offer you it, it feels like they're coming in to offer you the world <laughs> um but let's see what is something to be mindful of during the retrograde for cancer spirit what should be? Ooh. <laughs> of course, be mindful of your intuition. But look, oh, y'all, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Remember, I had one on that little tangent and I talked about the two cards that had popped up and I said, no, nah, it's some people that got to go. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't who they say they are. They a little sneaky. They may be causing some conflict for you. So, you feel it. Your intuition is telling you them two cards, Cancer. The five of wands, the seven of swords. Here they are. It's showing up at 22, 22. I just caught, look, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm just saying, y'all. But look, and the moon coming out as something to be mindful of, your intuition. Be mindful of your intu intuition. Your intuition is telling you. Your intuition is going to tell you what's right, what's wrong. <sighs> Lord. Okay. So listen to your intuition and pay attention to the signs from the divine, okay? But don't have any unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears, revelations that make everything clear. I'm so glad I did this reading, man. Let Listen, yeah, but um, if somebody, yeah, because there's going to be people having opposing opinions about a decision you could be trying to make. It doesn't, for some of you, it could be a decision. You could be, you know, thinking about moving. You know, somebody could be in your ear about why you shouldn't move or whatever. But if you feel in your heart to heart to move or do whatever, cancer, like do what you feel is right. Don't let anybody oppose you. Um, and stand up for yourself in this situation. You know, but of course, you know, determine, you know, pick your battles wisely, but, you know, stand up for yourself. Don't let anybody like try to um, run off with your peace. But yeah, take caution and be aware of others actions because, you know, there could be people. I don't know. I feel like it's attached to your money, like trying to, to come to come at your money. I don't know where somebody may like try to. We ain't going to go into that because <laughs> I don't, um, cancer is just going to be, uh, cautious of what their intuition is telling them because your intuition is, is going to lead you the right way. But let's see, how is this, um, retrograde going to help cancer on their karmic path? Look, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> transformation the death card so this is what's have a significant this mercury retrograde is like this is actually a really really good mercury retrograde y'all it feels like good luck and i think honestly if i'm not mistaken i hadn't gotten to um 
like my my study part of the mercury retrograde the all of it as far as astrology wise y'all but i feel like there is um something as regarding the good luck mercury retrograde so i feel like if there's if there was a mercury retrograde that you would be excited for this would be the one okay um because significant life experiences are happening significant life experiences that are requiring changes okay we're back here with the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck so you feel you may feel stuck in this moment right now you may feel trapped um for some of you it could feel you know like you're literally trapped like the circumstances have you trapped some of you it could be just your thoughts your you know this obsessive thinking and I feel like someone might be angry too because this red apple is like just staring at me. And when I think of red, I kind of think either of anger or love. So it could be like a love-hate thing. I don't know what you got going on, Cancer. But this Mercury retrograde, for real, for real, is um like ch it's changing your life, okay? Straight up, it's changing your life. Powerful and often unexpected revelations are coming out as well. Um you're gonna this is you know this is this new energy this new world for you the storm is clearing and i feel like 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 i say you got to take the good with the bad there could be some storms there could be some sadness there could be some tears there could be some endings you know some bitter goodbyes i'm 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 not even gonna sugarcoat it for you it it very well could be um cancer but know that i'm at the on the other side of this like the sun is shining we're actually, let's see, what's the outcome for cancer? What's the outcome for cancer after this Mercury retrograde look? Um, okay, I feel like you might be coming up uh, more spiritually aware, more spiritually in tune. So the high priestess came out. You're going to be able to um, meditate and turn inward and really, really trust yourself and know, <clears throat> excuse me, what your true desires are. Developing your intuitive gifts and trusting the wisdom you receive. So, yeah, Cancer, it definitely feels like. Look, this is this Mercury retrograde is life changing. It feels really, really, really good for my Cancers. Um, clarify this tower though. Clarify this transformation for Cancer. Oh, Cancer, yes. I'm so excited. Like, I could not be more happy to be a Cancer, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. So, like, and I feel better about this Mercury retrograde um, season, honestly, y'all, because I ain't even gonna lie. A transparency moment. I was a little, I had got a little anxious because, you know, I'm a Cancer and some of these readings been resonating for me. So, I'm like, ooh, I might want to start something new. I might, you know, but... Oh, yeah, y'all. But anywho, I ain't going to get too much into my tea. Um, I promise y'all, I'm going to go live with y'all and just, we're going to kiki and just talk and I'm going to show my face and all that. Y'all can see my, my facial expressions and all that then. I promise. I promise. And I know I keep saying that, y'all. Sorry, tangent. <laughs> I know I keep saying that. And then something happens, y'all. I swear it does. Every time, every time I say I'm about to go live, something happens and I can't go live. And then it just be a whole ordeal. But I promise y'all, before, sooner than later, I'm going to go live. And we just going to kiki and have fun. It's like the friends that we are because, you know, we family like that. But y'all, I'm telling you, that's why I said too, I'm so glad that this happened, y'all. This, um, because this Ace of Pentacles came out right as something that could be potentially helpful held up um or you know like barriers and or issues that come up during this mercury retrograde but this transformation brings you out financially looking good okay living a life of luxury that's why i said this this mercury retrograde is what's up okay so when your friends come around you talking about oh it's mercury retrograde it's stuff going on tell them oh, i'm sorry i can't relate like because this this season right now for me is you know moving me to my next let okay i'm look be ready okay you are about to be enjoying the fruits of your labor cancer okay and i see this royalty hard work that has led to a luxurious life buying yourself something special look buy me something too cancer 
I, I'm easy to please. <laughs> Happily and successfully um, self-employed too. So for some of you too, if you are deciding, ooh, okay, cancer. <laughs> If you are, some of you may be deciding to like try to start to do something new um, in regards to career during this Mercury retrograde season. Don't be discouraged to do that. Don't be discouraged to do that. I feel like, you know, you may need a little bit of reassurance, reassurance in that part. But oh my gosh, Cancer, this was like, I've been loving the readings lately. The, um... I don't know. I slick feel like I'm coming back because, yeah, if you know, you know. But, <laughs> um, oh, yeah, Cancer, it feels good, though. The energy feels so good. I feel like this Mercury retrograde season is going to be um, one, one for the book. So I'm going to pull. I ain't going to stay here all day. <laughs> I'm going to pull a couple of uh, cards from the fallback deck. See what comes out for Cancer during this retrograde season. Ooh, look at that. Okay, something new. See, something new is on its way to you. Loosen your grip to release and receive. I can't make it up, y'all. I can't make it up, but oh yeah, let me tell you, see too, there's definitely some insight, some clarity coming around because I don't think I had told y'all that. The Ace of Swords and the Queen of Cups was at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you definitely, your um, intuitive um, or your psychic insights could definitely be like deepening cancer. Definitely intuition is like so key. Trusting yourself, um, trusting yourself and what you feel. That is so key. This, um, I am a powerful manifester. I trust, I believe, I receive. So yeah, look, I'm going to even challenge you cancer to, to, to say that. All throughout um, this retrograde season, know that whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever the, the, the season astrologically is, you know, you are a powerful manifester. You trust that, you believe that, you receive that, you receive this, this something new coming in. I'm going to give it to you one more time. I am a powerful manifester. I trust, I believe I receive. Okay. I challenge you to that. Okay. Um, get out of your own way. You are the reason, the cause, and the solution. Take back your power by remembering who you really are. <clears throat> and cancer, who you really are is a cancer baby, a moon child, an intuitive, loving, caring water sign that's what you are you know um and this obsessive thinking this obsessive thinking and this idea that you know cancer the nurturer the mother and don't take offense to that male or female but you know you're you're you may think that um you're you're in your own way here because you may think that you can Fix somebody else's situation. Fix somebody else, but it's time to focus on you. It's time to put. It's time. It's actually time now to put that energy that you be putting into other people into you. I know we talk about it and we say it, um, and yeah, and that has said it. In this Queen of Cups, caring for others, but forgetting to take care of yourself. It's time now. It's time out for that. Get out of your own way. You are the reason. The cause and the solution. So sometimes, you know, you may create some of these own, own problems on your own. But because of who you are, you have the solution within you already. Remember that, Cancer. Remember who you are. I'm going to pull one more. Just one more. Give me one more for Cancer. Wow, this was, this was a really great reading, y'all. A really great reading um courage courage <clears throat> fear is natural it invites us to be brave accept and face what scares you okay so be brave this this mercury retrograde season because some of you may some of you may fear um fear that but look at the bottom of the back the bottom of the back <laughs> 
<laughs> what is wrong with me? The bottom of the deck is balance, right? <laughs> balance and, you know, Libra season, the scales balancing, y'all. I love that. It's just, I love that it's just coming full circle for us, Cancer. It says, slow down, lighten your load so you can float. Um, and Cancer, I feel like you're lightening your load from these challenges, lightening your load from these people that may be freeloading or I don't know, you know, I'm protective over my cancers. Um, but anywho, y'all, I think I'm gonna leave it there. I done kept y'all long enough. Um, I really do hope that this reading, um, you found it helpful and, you know, I hope it gets you through this Mercury retrograde season. Definitely, I will be sending out my good love and um, good good vibes, positive vibes towards you as you all move into this new life, this new, um, as you embrace this new shift, this new, this, as you accept something new. I'm just really, really excited for it, Cancer. Like, I'm really, I'm really, really excited. This reading was just like, wow. I'm just like, wow. Okay. But anywho. I'm going to leave it there, you guys. If you like this reading in a personal form, only for a couple of days, so definitely get down in the link in the description box below. Um, please make sure that you read, 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 y'all. Um, just read everything, okay? Just read it. I'm just saying. Just read what's going on, all right? Um, but I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Uh, in the meantime, in between time, until next time, I love y'all so much. Bye.